What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about how to install the Ridewear quick release on your motorcycle helmet. Here we have my Scorpion EXO or EXO R710 Illuminate graphic. Notice here on the chin strap where you have the double D rings, pretty standard stuff. You can attach the clip unit to the back behind the rings or in the front in front of the rings. I'm gonna do it in the back. Notice on the other strap, I've already attached the male end of the quick release system. It's a two piece system essentially. Now, up here, just a refresher, I can go outside or inside the D rings. I'm going to go inside. I'll explain that later. Now, here you see I get the first wedge in. That's really important. Got to get as much material in as possible. Then the rest is just a lot of good old fashioned elbow grease and manual labor. You're gonna watch as I struggle here. If you wanna get up and get a soda, I'll understand. This may take a moment. And I think right about here I get it. It's really hard to capture on video too, of course. And look, now I'm testing it, doing a little tug test, side to side, strength. It's going to hold perfectly. Now this I have the D-rings on the outside. Personal preference, I think I'm going to like that best. Mainly because of when I tried it on before, it fit better. Nice solid click. You have to push a little hard on this one, but it's super solid. That's how you know it's going to stay there. Let's just do it again for good measure. Now let's discuss the other side of this thing. This is the uh, obviously the other strap. That's the hole where the original button used to be. That's my button, what's left of it anyway. I had to use a real special tool to get that thing out of there. But I bet you have one of these tools as well. <laughs> anyway, so if you take a look at this, obviously there's the retainer and there's the male clip. Pretty simple stuff. I've already added that on. I'm going to show you how to do it in a minute. This whole thing was all there was, just the nylon originally with the little red snap. It would feed through the D-rings. Whatever excess strap was left over would snap right there. And that was it. But I thought we could do better. Great. So, now let's do the other side. Let's do the install. Here's your nylon strap. Same strap as before, but I've removed everything. There's that little buttonhole missing the button. Pretty soon you'll see why that was such a problem. Now, here's your retainer. Slip it on first. It's important this goes on first. You can go through in any direction of this thing. It's the same way either, either way. Just push it on, get it pretty far up there. Get it out of the way. You can always move it later. And you will. Leave yourself plenty of strap. Now bring in the male piece. You might want to go through the outside, but that's wrong. You're going to run this bad boy right through the innermost slot. And the first thing you'll notice is, see that hole where that guy was? That would have been your problem. It wouldn't have gone through. It's that button there. So now feed it through the other side. I want a little bit more through, pull it through the other side, and now we got it right up on that retainer. We can use that to clasp away that excess strap so it doesn't flap in the wind as you ride. Easy peasy Japanesey, right? Now, obviously that's not proper adjustment, but that just shows you how to put it on. Again, this is a very tough snap, but once it's in there, it's good and got on there so you know your head's not coming off. Now, adjust it for you. Put it on, get it right, get it to where you need it. And let's just assume I've already put the helmet on and figured out I need uh, to tighten it up a little bit. And that's what we're gonna do. Multi-step process. Oh, it looks like I'm loosening it, actually. Multi-step process. Take your time. It takes a little effort. You gotta be patient, you gotta work with your hands. 
Gen Y, this may not be for you. From the looks of this video, it might not be for me either. Test for connection again. Voila. Pretty nice stuff. Now you're ready to ride. Now I'm just going to show you how easy this thing is to put on. Pretty simple stuff. You can do this with gloves as well. 22 bucks on Amazon. Can't go wrong. Here's an idea of what it looks like. Have a nice day.